Well, let me say this one more time, guys, and I know that you probably get tired of hearing it, but there is literally nothing more important than exercise in dog training. So watch this little lab puppy. I guess she's about 13 weeks old now, uh, and she's just chasing my son as I pull him through the yard with the four-wheeler, you know? I mean, every single day, we're going to exercise those puppies. People email me all the time. They want to know the secrets to being a good dog trainer. Well, the secret is that there's really not a lot of secrets, you know? The most important thing, and I stress this over and over and over again, the most important thing in dog training is general socialization and tons of exercise. So get out there and make sure you do that before you start your training sessions. So watch little Sadie lay down and start wagging her tail. This is what happens, guys, when you do food work with puppies when they're in the imprinting phase, which is, you know, about 8 to 16 weeks. You just, it's amazing how much progress they make each day. Um, what I want you to notice in this food work session is how fluid I'm able to control her behavior. I move my hand and she just moves with it like we're dancing. Remember the other day I was having trouble getting her to stand? Watch me pull her into this stand right now. Oh, what a difference. See how confident she is and how relaxed her, her, her posture is? Remember from the other video, she was real tense when we would try to get her to stand up. Her feet were kind of like she was had her little claws into the table, and her posture was very rigid. You could just tell the tension was kind of rippling through her body. Now, today, though, she's sitting and downing and standing, and she feels 100% confident about being on the table. What that tells me is that she trusts me a lot, and that's really the most important thing when you're working with your puppy is to build trust, to make them understand that you're there, you're going to you're going to motivate them. You're going to help them learn to accomplish the things that benefits them in life. And then it's your job to show them how coming and being still and having good manners and working with you works out to their benefit. Okay. Now, she's doing so well at the sit and down and stand that I'm going to go ahead and introduce the leash to her. So this is my favorite kind of leash. It's just a little English uh, show lead. I like them because I can just throw them in my pocket. They don't take up much space. And I usually get to work with dogs starting at a very young age, so I don't I don't have to do much in the way of compulsion. So uh, you know I'm just I'm lucky that way. I get nice dogs. I get them with their puppies. So I put them up on this table and I work on sit and stand and down. And she's like, "Oh, Stony, wow! I can get paid for sitting and down and standing and following your hand around. Is there anything else I can get paid for?" I'm like, "Sure. How about you just put your head through this leash?" And she goes, well, okay, that seems pretty neat because the leash doesn't bother me. It just kind of drapes on my neck. And so I get her used to just putting the leash on, putting her head through there for me, draping the leash on her neck. And then uh, I work on my base patterns. So she has the leash on her neck. It's uh, uh, kind of draping there. And she works, you know, she's working through her sit, maybe her down. And once that starts happening consistently, then I'll start to tighten that leash up. You know, now you'll run into some hesitation sometimes when you first tighten a leash up around a dog's neck, uh, you know, or, or with a harness or collar or leash or whatever. So, you know, I just put it on them and I kind of gradually tighten it up a little bit, but I'm st sticking with the food work with this base pattern because most of her attention is not on the leash. Most of her attention is just on those treats that keep coming. And the leash is just... You know, it's kind of something that's accompanying that base pattern that we're doing. And so she's not worried about it at all. So uh, in part two of this video, I'm going to show you how I get her down on the floor. And I start to teach her how to walk with the leash. And it's a real simple stuff, guys. You start with something that the dog's good at, like a sit and a down the other day. She wasn't good at the stand. So I did the sit, the down, added the stand. Today, she's getting sit, stand, and down all three. She's super. So I add the leash. Once she gets acclimated to the leash, the leash being tied around her neck, I add walking with the leash pressure, okay? It's all real simple, so stick around.